Hello and welcome to the show. This is Everything Under the Sun. My name is Ty. Hope all of you have been doing amazing this past week and bringing yourself to better and better experiences in your life because that is who's in control of that. You are in control of the experiences that you have in your life and, and how you perceive them. And we may not be able to control the external forces that may seem to come our way, but we can control how we react to them. And something I want to talk about very briefly this episode is really this idea of what if everything in your life is working out for you and in your favor. So often we think that there are these situations that arise in our lives that seem so out of place, seem so different from the intentions that we're setting, seem seem so out and far away from the goals that we're setting for ourselves in our lives, the place that we want to reach for ourselves in our lives. But what if I told you that everything in life is working out for you. All things in life are working out for you. And if we start to frame our perspective, we start to wake up each day with that perspective and that realization, then things change almost immediately. Because now we're looking throughout our day with these situations in mind saying that this is working out for me. The fact that I woke up this morning, everything is working out for me. Everything is always working out for me. And as we repeat ourselves with that in our heads, as we affirm that within our own minds and our own being, then we can start to walk through life realizing that every situation, every breakup, every what seems like a pitfall, every time it seems like we're taking a step back or seems like something is going against our journey, know that everything is always working out for me. Now, you don't have to search for the meaning, like what does this pitfall mean? What does it mean for my life? Everything is working out for me, meaning that the understanding that this is meant to bring will come to me. I can have peace in the understanding that everything is working out for me. I'm I'm moving towards the things that are best for me. I'm moving towards the intentions, the mindsets, the goals, the ideas, the thoughts, and beliefs that are best for me. And I know that everything is working out for me. And it doesn't matter what seems to appear in front of me in my life. The fact that I know that these things are coming together to culminate towards the best experience I can have is, is what I'm holding my attention towards. And... The best experience you can have is one that's free of all these tumultuous situations, the ones that are free of these these pitfalls, these things that seem to snag you away from your happiness, away from your feeling of success, a feeling of joy, a feeling of abundance. And these things are going to show up in your experience because they're meant for you to wash away. They're meant for you to let go. They're meant for you to let them be exactly as they are. And that your presence and your awareness of everything is always working out for me be what allows you to move through that moment with all the best intentions. There are so many things that happen in my life that, I mean, are truly, truly incredible and truly amazing. And of course, it's easy to be very happy and to look at those things. So look at those things when when it seems very challenging. Be grateful for the things that are appearing in your life. And then when there are things that aren't very pleasant that come into your experience and this has happened to me in many cases things that seem very unpleasant have come into my experience and the thing that's got me through it is the realization that everything is always working out for me what is this telling me and I don't have to necessarily focus on the question because maybe that doesn't feel good maybe it doesn't feel good to think about what is this really difficult situation trying to teach me knowing that everything's working out for me the understanding will come to me As long as I have peace and I allow myself the ease and the grace that comes with, you know, forgiving yourself, comes with allowing the situation to be, comes with just knowing that these things are going to work out. The peace that comes with that will bring the answer. It will bring the alignment. It will make that thing that seems so heavy that it seemed like I I want to stay away from this. I can't carry this anymore. You no longer have to carry it, but you can sit with it. You can move with it. You can you can move through life and realize that, yes, the situation is as it is. This is the situation that I'm in. This is the job that I'm in. This is the circumstance that I'm in right now. But it doesn't mean this is where I'm always going to be. I know that things change. Things are constantly changing all the time. This will change also. I'm not sure how it's going to change, but everything is always working out for me. So it's going to change in the direction that works out best for me. And sometimes this can be hard to believe because so many people's lives are filled with just I mean, it's really like a drama. It's like a, a very intense situation. So many people have, you know, back-to-back circumstances that seem very disheartening, seem very tragic, seem very rough, and seems anger-provoking. Seems like it's it's very valid to have these other feelings. But 
you are the one that chooses validity. And do you want these negative feelings, these negative emotions, these things that don't feel good to be the thing that you validate in your life? And that's really the biggest question. It's like, am I wanting to validate this, this feeling, this thought, this belief? Or am I wanting to validate the fact that everything's working out for me? That person that I like that doesn't like me back, I will not miss any situation that's meant for me. There's nothing that will come into my experience that is not for my betterment. And we know so much from your own personal experience, you know this, hardships have brought about greater strengths, greater understandings of self, greater depth of experience and emotion and understanding. And now it's not necessary that we have to have bad experiences in order for that to come, but situations are going to arise and they may be out of our control, but we can control how we perceive it, how we go about it. And if we perceive these things in our lives as being things that work out for our best intentions, for our best outcome, then we don't have to struggle with the confusion of what does this mean? Where is this going in my life? I'm, I'm however many years old or, you know, I've, I've had these friends or these people in my life that seem to be doing what I feel is better. I'm judging that as being a better avenue. Like, why am I not there yet? Those feelings are coming up for a reason. Those thoughts and those ideas are coming for a reason. But the reason is not what you think it is. You may think the reason is, oh, I need to better myself. I need to do something more. I need to, uh, I need to do what they're doing in order to fit in their shoes. And that's not what that feeling is telling you. That feeling is telling you, this is not fun. <laughs> it's, it's a very clear message that's being sent to you. This is not the experience that I want to have. So start having the experience that you want to have by first in training your thought to know that, you know what, that person has that experience. They have that car. They have that house. They have that family. That's all for them. That was meant for them. And if that's something I desire, then it will come and it will be in the most perfect way. Like, I'm not going to have to force anything. I don't have to force a relationship because I feel like I have to hurry up and get married and have kids. I don't have to force my way into occupations or situations that I don't like because I, I want the money to come faster. Do what you want to do that feels good for you. Do what, do what feels right for you. And know that as situations arise, let them come and let them pass you by if they don't feel good to you, if they don't feel like they're in alignment with what you feel and desire for yourself. Know that everything is always working out for you, so the decision to say no to something that arises, you can do that and know that that answer of no is guiding you to the right place. And even if you say no to an opportunity, someone presents you an opportunity to be partners in a business, and that business you say, well, no, I'm not really interested. And it turns out to be a billion dollar business. And you're like, oh man, like, oh, I should have done that. And then you're kind of griping and, you know, groaning and really upset with yourself for saying no. Know that everything is always working out for you. And maybe that opportunity was not meant for you. All these things that we do that we feel even like our own thoughts, our own actions are the cause of some kind of terrible situation that happened out in the world. Everything is always working out for you. And now, you know, like there are things that I've done in the past, things that have happened that have been, you know, on my own hand. And it's something that weighed on me for so long. But I realized that through that experience, I've come to understand myself better, that I don't want that, that that's not something that I desire for myself. And something else I don't desire for myself is the thought of holding on to that for the rest of my life. Holding on to that guilt, holding on to that, that worry, that fear, that anger. None of that is doing us any good. So let go of the past, let go of those situations that have happened in the past because they are no longer serving you. They did what they, they did what they were meant to do. And now from this moment moving forward, everything is always working out for me. Everything. Everything. That means everything. Everything in the past, everything in the future, everything right this moment, everything is working out for me. And as we entrain ourselves to know that, then our life becomes more of something that we're witnessing. We're witnessing how is this experience coming together to culminate towards that true intention that I desire for myself, that, that end goal, that happiness, that joy, that success, that abundance, all those things that I desire for myself. I can witness this. I can just watch as it unfolds and not judge the things that come into my experience. I may want to be 
a business entrepreneur and I start on my business, I'm very excited about it and it, it burns to the ground. Everything is always working out for me. What, what to do next? What will bring me joy and happiness in this moment? Life is like a sandbox and we can build and we can build and then we can crash down that sandcastle and then build again. It is infinite possibilities available for us as we start to take that step forward and realize that that every moment is a new opportunity to build something new, build something better, build a new thought and a belief. Okay, if failure has been something that has been a fear of yours and you decide to go out on a limb and build this business of yours and it fails, okay, the thing that you've been holding on to, that fear of failure, is coming towards you. It's, it's being presented right in front of you. It's a gift that is being given to you. Everything is always working out for me. Okay, instead of focusing on the money loss, instead of focusing on the, the business opportunities that are lost, instead of focusing on the ideas of not having that house or that car or this life experience that I'm, I'm feeling that I, I, I'm going to have through this business venture, instead of thinking that all that is lost, I'm going to just focus on everything is always working out for me. And that passion that I feel for that thing I desire, that passion that I feel for that life that I desire, that is what will bring it to me. And I know that as I move through my life, whatever experiences present themselves in my life, whatever job, whatever circumstances presenting to me in my life right now is working out for my best good, for my better understanding of myself, better understanding of my strengths, my skills, the things that I truly desire for myself. There's this image of this house that's in my mind and I've dreamt about it and it's it's really something, it's very real to me. I mean, like, so real that, like, I'm starting to imagine, like, the wall decor, like, the, the art that I want. Like, I specifically have a very large wall in my in my house, in this, this image of this house that I have. And it's kind of interesting because, like, this image of this house started years ago, like, three years ago. And the place that I'm living now actually has a very large wall um, that's... That's very similar to the one that I envisioned of the house that I'm going to have. But as I envision this house, I also envision all these different aspects of it. And the situations that I've come with in the past two years have changed and altered the image of that house. Not, not the structure of it itself, but the components of it. There are certain maybe furniture and aspects or landscape features that I desire to have now. I started working on a farm and I wasn't getting paid for that farm work, but it did change that vision of the house. It was like, I want a garden in that house now. I want a garden where I can grow fresh fruit and, and vegetables and, and really just be very self-sustaining in that. And that image has changed through that experience of this farm work that, you know, it seems like it has nothing to do with that end goal of having that, that house and that land and, and that view that I envision in my life. It may not seem like it has anything to do with it, but it does. Because now that, that image is more complete, it feels more complete. As I re-envision that, that same house with that garden and that, those fruit trees, it, it feels more real, it feels more whole, it feels more full. When I think about the people in my life that you know I've, I've come into experience with and the people I've connected with, they are also guests in that home of mine. And I'm happy to invite more people as I meet more people in the world, as I connect with more people and realize like, wow, this is a really great connection, this is a really great person. They become part of that image. That business venture that you want to go on, that, that idea that you want to flourish on, these opportunities, these people that you seem to coincidentally meet, there is no coincidence in life. Everything is always working out for you. And when we move through that mindset, when we move with that mindset, it's something that's going to elevate us in every single situation. It's going to guide us to those situations and circumstances that are best for us, that bring us more happiness, more joy. And as we move through life with the realization that everything is always working out for me, then those shadows that we seem to pay so much attention to, they shrink. They shrink so much that they dissipate. We are bringing light into this room of darkness. And the light is the new thoughts, the new beliefs, the new realizations, the new ideas, the new strengths that you are now stepping forth with. This is your new path. This is your new journey. As we embrace that and know that everything part of this journey, even before we realized that we were on the journey, everything is part of it and everything is always working out for me. 
And there are situations that are very personal to you that you will obviously have to decipher within your own self of, you know, how can I start to really embrace this idea that everything is always working out for me? There are very personal things, very heavy things that maybe you're going to try to tackle with that idea. Don't, don't face those things immediately. Just start focusing on the things that have been working out for you. Where are you living? Where, who's the people in your life? What are your circumstances? What are the things that are working out for you? Focus on that for the time being. And then realize like, wow, this thing came into my life. This object, this, this opportunity, this situation came into my life. It seemed like it was just a strange series of events that led me to have this thing. And now I have it. Maybe all these other strange situations, all these other series of coincidences that are happening in my life from this moment forward will actually bring me the things that I desire. And I may not realize the path that it's taking me to get there, but I know that it's going to take me there because it already has. It's already demonstrated that for me. I didn't realize that having this conversation with this random person was going to lead me to meeting some other person that helps me to fulfill my dream. I didn't realize that taking a break from this really stressful job that I have and you know going to watch the sunset would actually bring me an opportunity of abundance and joy and peace and and you know good things in my life. And that last one is not even a it's not even a false example or it's something I made up. That is a real situation that happened to me. I was I was working in property management. I was doing a lot of hours at work and I didn't mind doing the work, but it started getting to a point where it was very stressful. And a coworker asked me to go watch the sunset, have a have a beer and watch the sunset. And I said, no, I have to, you know, keep working. My plan was to work from, I was working from 9 a.m. that morning. And it was really to work until like maybe 6, 7, 8 o'clock p.m. So it was like a very, very long day. And my coworker asked me to go out and I said, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to go to the beach. I'm going to watch the sunset. And I decided to go do that. And as we leave the beach to go watch the sunset, I run into a former coworker of mine who's leaving the island and is in need of someone to take over his place. And I was just in need of having a place. So everything was in alignment. And if I never took that opportunity to really just take a break and do something for myself, then I would have never come across that housing opportunity. And that was, it was an incredible housing opportunity, like unbelievable. Like every time I spoke to someone about like the price that I got it for and like where it was at, like location was prime. The, pr the price and the situation was very, very good. And all that came with just, you know, everything's always working out for me. I don't have to stress myself and work really hard in this situation. I don't have to burden myself with things that I don't like. I don't have to do anything that is uncomfortable for me. I just have to allow myself to focus on the things that feel good for me. I just have to allow myself to know that I'm going to be happy. My happiness is paramount and and everything in my life will lead me to that. And now there may be other things that, that seem to challenge that happiness, but let go of them. Let them pass you by. Sit with them if you need to, but don't let it impact you. Don't let it sway you away from the realization that everything is always working out for me. And this is something, I mean, again, so many things I say, easier said than done. But it's your focus that is the main thing within all of this. Where are you focusing your attention? Because your focus is where your energy is going. And if your focus is on, this is so terrible. I can't believe this happened. I don't know how I'm going to get there from here. I don't know how this is going to happen. What am I going to do? How is this going to work out? Those things don't feel good. But you're focusing your attention there and that is where your energy is going and when your energy is going towards something else it's going to generate more of that thing so start to realign your focus towards the things that feel good for you and if there's something in your life that doesn't seem like it's working out for you reshift that thought everything is always working out for me and i don't know how this situation is working out for me but i'm not going to think about it right now I'm not going to focus on how it's not working out for me. I'm not going to focus on that. I'm going to focus on everything else that is working out for me in my life and, and let this just be here. Let this be at the table. I don't have to give it attention. I don't have to 
give extended conversation to it. I don't have to give my energy to it, but I can allow it to be here because it's already here. Like, I'm not good. I can't do anything about that, but I can do something about how I'm reacting to it, how I'm responding to it, the depth of happiness that I'm feeling while going through it. Because we can be worried about something down the line and may not even make it to the afternoon. You know, it's like life is is full of so many unexpected things, so many beautiful things. And, and sometimes we miss that because we're focused in a different time. We're focused in a different place than right now. Right now is where you're living your life. Right now. Right here and right now. That is the only place that you're living your life. So bring your focus to right now. Bring your focus to, yes, right now, everything is always working out for me. In the depth of my sadness, in the depth of this situation that seems to be happening, everything is always working out for me. I'm learning right now, and maybe I don't know what that lesson is that I'm learning, but something is being, something is being taught, and I'm just going to allow myself to receive it. I'm just going to allow myself to just be with it. And then I'm going to start focusing my attention towards things that feel good for me. What feels really good to do right now? And if that thought comes in, oh, I should really focus on this project because I have that deadline and, you know, that feeling just doesn't feel good. Stop thinking about that. Stop giving your attention to that. Stop giving your energy to that. Give your energy to something else. Maybe you say, you know what, I'd actually rather listen to some really good music. So turn on some music that you enjoy. And maybe out of nowhere, you'll get inspiration to do that project while you're listening to that music. And it's a lot better. It's a lot more enjoyable. You're not stressed out about it. You're just like in the flow, listening to your favorite songs and, and doing this project that this crippling idea of a deadline has been hanging over you for so long. And now it doesn't have to hang over me. The deadline's still there. The project still needs to be done. But I am interpreting the situation differently. I know that everything is always working out for me. And in my happiness, in my joy, in my peace, that is what will bring it to me. And maybe you don't make that deadline. And maybe you do get fired from that job. But maybe you didn't like that job as much as you thought you did. Maybe there was another opportunity waiting for you to let go of this stress and anxiety that's in the form of this job. Once you let it go, maybe the universe made you let it go because you decided to focus on your happiness. So nothing else that's outside of that can stand. Nothing else that's outside of your happiness can be there anymore in your experience. Once you've determined that everything is working out for my good, my happiness is paramount. My focus is on my happiness and my joy and my peace. The more we focus on that, the more that becomes the entire essence of our thought, ideas, and, and beliefs, then nothing else can come in our experience that is in opposition to that. And even those very heavy experiences that may seem to arise, they're not as heavy. They don't move you as much outside of that place that you want to be. Everything is always working out for me. Everything is always working out for me. Everything, everything is always working out for me. Always. And that is something that we maybe have to keep repeating to ourselves. Maybe that's something that we have to start to embody and envision and, and realize by kind of backtracking and, and seeing what's in our lives right now. What's the good in our lives right now and how did it get here? It started off with some kind of intention, some kind of thought, some kind of desire. And I allowed it to come into my experience. And, and here it is. The same thing will happen from this step moving forward. The same thing is happening always from this step moving forward. Everything is always working out for me. So that's really all I had for this episode. It's really to highlight that idea. It's, it's something that I do. It's something that I realize. And when there's hardship or some kind of hang up that seems to happen in my experience, I realize everything's always working out for me. I realize that this is another shadow that, that's been in my life, been on my mind that I've been holding on to. And now I want to let it go. Now I'm going to let it go. And when we affirm that in our minds, when we affirm that I'm letting this go, I'm no longer giving it my attention. I'm allowing it to be exactly as it is. And, 
and I'm going to focus on my happiness, not on that. Then we are affirming to ourselves, we are affirming to that belief that we are trying to water and nurture and grow, that this is where my focus lies. This is where my energy is going. And I know that it will bring about the best in my life. So yeah, if you have any thoughts or ideas or anything I'd like to share, you can send that to everything.sunpodcast at gmail.com. You can join any of the social media groups, Instagram, everything.sunpodcast, Twitter, at everysunpodcast, the Facebook group, at everysunpodcast, and the YouTube page, everything under the sun podcast. And that's all I got. I love you so much. And remember, everything is always, always working out for you. I love you. Talk soon. <laughs>